Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Hemisphere S631 network rover on data collector internet using Field Genius for Android. So, what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm going to choose the select instrument option there on the left, the third option on the left. And from within this menu here, I'm going to get my instrument profile menu and I'm going to hit add profile there in the bottom right corner. And that's going to bring up my new instrument profile menu here. And I'm going to make sure of a couple things. I'm going to make sure that my make is set to hemisphere. So I'll just scroll down to H and choose hemisphere. And my model's automatically selected as S631, so I can leave that. And I can also give a profile name to this instrument profile. In this case, I'm just going to leave it as Hemisphere S631 and then click in the bottom right corner there, Create. And I can now set up my communication. In this case, I want to talk to my receiver over Bluetooth. So I'm going to leave my connection type as Bluetooth and then search for my device here. And it's going to find all nearby Bluetooth devices. And you can see here that I've got one that is this D212, whole bunch of numbers ending in 047. And that is the serial number of my S631. So if you look on the bottom of your receiver and in between the two battery doors, there is a serial number. This serial number will match the Bluetooth profile name. So I'm going to choose that one. And then I'm going to hit connect here in the bottom right corner. And that's going to connect to my device here and initialize my GNSS rover here. And once that's finished connecting, I'm going to be brought back to my instrument profile setup menu here. And my next option I need to set up here is I need to set up my corrections. So right now it's automatically set to no RTK. So if you're using an autonomous rover, you would leave it on no RTK. But in this case, I want to go RTK via internet. And I'm going to click that and it's going to bring up my menu here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the option there that says set up internet. So once I select that, it's going to ask me the type. I'm going to use the data collector type for my internet. And I've already before this video started connected to the Wi-Fi that's inside my office. You can use a SIM card or you can use a hotspot off your phone. Anything will work if you want to use data collector internet as long as the tablet is connected to the internet. So I'm going to click done now in the bottom right corner and then it's going to ask me to set up my data source. So right now I don't have any data sources so I'm going to need to click that add new source in the top right corner to create a new one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a Stormcaster login here and if, if you want to know more about Stormcaster just give us a holler at the number down below or wait till the end of the video where we have our website and phone information, but I'm going to enter all my Stormcaster information here, including my address, my port, my username and password. And once I finish entering all my information here, I'm going to hit done in the bottom right corner, and then it's going to bring me back to my data source menu. I'm going to make sure my uh, this newly created profile that I just left as my ntrip1 is selected with that check mark, and then I'm going to hit done. And once I have that set up, so my internet's set to data collector, my data source is selected to my newly created NTRIP profile. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit connect, and now the receiver is going to initialize its connection to the internet here. So once it's finished connecting, you can see that I have several different base options. So I'm going to select the Stormcaster base here that's based in our office in Calgary. In fact, it is right below my receiver here, the reference station. So I'm going to make sure Calc2 is selected by clicking on it, making sure the check mark is next to it. And once I have that checked, I'm going to hit select in the bottom right corner. And then it's going to ask me about my correction format and whether NMEA is required. So I'm going to leave my correction format as auto detect. And since I don't need any NMEA strings out of this receiver, I'm just going to hit confirm here and then it's going to select my mount point and initialize my corrections here. So you can see that it says next to corrections RTK via internet and then there's something that says stop receiving. So if I want to stop receiving corrections I can just select that stop receiving button to the shock of nobody I believe. So once that's set up I'm going to skip this setup Atlas L band as I don't have any Atlas uh, activations on this receiver and I'm going to click on setup antenna height. So in here is where I can measure my height of instruments. So I'll just put a little graphic up on screen so you can see where the uh, measurement points are on the S631 but I'm going to make sure I have the proper measure point selected. So in this case I measured my rover to the bottom of the antenna mount and I measured it to 2.0 meters and you can see here that there's some information on the offsets 
that doesn't matter. As long as your measure point is properly selected, you won't need to manually enter these offsets. So once that's selected, I'm going to hit OK in the bottom right corner there. And it's again going to bring me back to my Rover profile screen. And then it's going to ask me to set up my active tolerance. So what I'm going to want to select here is the RTK fixed topo option. So if you wanted a more stringent tolerance, you can select the other option there, that control option. And if you want to change any of these, there's another video up on our channel or, or will be shortly at the time of the filming of this video on how to alter your tolerances. So once that's all set up here, I'm going to hit done. So the last option I'm going to select here is the tilt correction option. So you can see right now that I have tilt rejection enabled and my tilt rejection degrees is 0.5 degrees. I'm actually going to disable this as I'm under a re-rating kit indoors and that means I can't actually calibrate my tilt sensor as I only have a single point of reference and any movement is just going to be seeing my re-radiating antenna. So I'm just going to disable this to show you what it looks like when I go to the survey screen here. So I'm going to hit OK and then done. And if I head to survey here, so you can see in the bottom right corner that I have RTK fix selected with a latency of one second between corrections. And if I select that, it's gonna take an average of three points here and I can store the point. And when I return to the map screen here, you can see that I have 0.1 stored under my arrow. And that is how you set up an Hemisphere S631 Rover receiver on data collector internet using Field Genius for Android. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.